Uh, basically, that, that yeah. boils it down in a quick uh, three seconds. Uh, but yes, <laughs> we are, are tracking a, a complex storm. It's uh, not a large storm. It's not the biggest storm we have ever seen, but it is complex. Uh, on the colder side, we have the snow. We have the ice in the middle. On the warm side, we have rain. Uh, some of this is already into parts of southern Pennsylvania, but you really have to get close uh, to that border, the Maryland border, uh, before you start to see it actually coming down. The latest hourly observations from across the state showing absolutely nothing uh, reaching the ground just yet. Uh, it is not snowing yet, but it is cloudy for sure, although every now and then the sky does brighten up a little bit. You can see that here in this part of Wayne County in Honesdale. 34 in Williamsport, 32 Sealands Grove in Lansford. I have 27. I think we're good through maybe about 6 or 6.30 this evening, and then we should start to see that weather move in. So I would say by about 7 o'clock, we'll start to see some light snow get into southern Pennsylvania. And then between 7 and 11, it's going to move north. So by midnight, most of us will be working with light snow. Overnight, towards tomorrow morning, we get some warm air to come in, and that gives us this wintry mix. Some snow still across the endless mountains where you see the pink. That tells me there may be some sleet, even some freezing rain. And if it can get warm enough, the farther south we live, we'll see a transition over to plain rain. This basic setup continues through about lunchtime tomorrow. Snow across the endless mountains farther south, some rain mixing in, and then it will all taper off by later tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. As far as snow, this is what we are expecting here. More farther north and through some of the hilltops, lesser amounts the farther south. Regardless of how much snow you get, with this transition over to some sleet and freezing rain and plain old rain, it just compacts everything down. So it may end up being a difficult snow to shovel by the time it's all said and done. Now on top of the snow, we may see some ice accumulations. And the best chance for that to happen will be across the northern Poconos. So that could lead to slippery roads. And that may also lead to some power outages. Tonight, your eyewitness weather forecast. Snow developing between 7 and 11. Then overnight towards tomorrow morning, we see that transition to a wintry mix. Lows will be in the upper 20s and low 30s. Tomorrow, the wintry mix through, I would say, early afternoon. And then it tapers off mid to late afternoon. Highs are going to be in the mid-30s.